listening. Thanks to you. Thank you to the captain. Tim Ottenis says the temperature in his mobile home drops into the 40s at night. You just have to think about a lot of things. Keep your mind off of it and watch television. This tiny space heater is all Tim has to warm his home. His furnace is broken and he doesn't have the money to repair it. A general contractor of 40 years, Tim would fix it himself, but he can't. At 72, Tim is disabled with a bad hip and uses a wheelchair. Uh, just about as frustrating as it can be. Tim wears a leather coat indoors, covers himself with blankets, with more waiting on the floor for when night falls. A blanket covers the sliding glass door, keeping as much cold out as possible. It gets pretty cold at night, so I just pile the blankets on. With prices rising for fuel and energy, a new survey finds 1.3 million people in Washington, 23%, will only turn on their heat when the average outdoor temperature reaches 34 degrees. The cost of furnaces and water heaters have jumped 19%. Well, it's disheartening. Homage Senior Services helps people fix and replace those appliances. They took care of 45 seniors last year. This year, there's a waiting list, and rising prices have them looking at a $40,000 shortfall, meaning some will likely have to be left out in the cold. If we don't have the funding, we don't take them off the list. We just put them on a waiting list and hope that we can serve them when funding comes through the next year. But there are some folks that have been waiting a long time for heat. Tim hopes that help will come soon with another cold night ahead. You just take it day by day. The Biden administration just gave the state of Washington $75 million to help lower energy costs and help low income families pay their heat bills this winter. For more information, text the word heat to 206-448-4545 and we will send you a link. For now, live in Mount Lake Terrace, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.